Hello YouTube, my name is Fred Bergeron from Inaccess. I hope you're doing well today. In this video, I want to show you uh, how we can set expiry times and um, you know card inactivity uh, disabling uh, for, uh, for card access from a user properties. So sometimes, you know, you have a contractor on site or someone that will be working just for a few days or a month or a couple of months, doesn't matter. Um, and then you want to make sure that even if you forget to disable that user in a month, uh, that the system will take care of doing it for you. All right. So that's obviously a safe way to make sure that nobody will gain access to the facility uh, when he's not supposed to. All right. So let's have a look. Right now I'm under the um, users and users tab showing uh, my list of users. If I select the user here, um, the first thing I want to show you, um, and that's the, I guess, the basic feature that a lot of people will use. Under user expiry date and time, you can define a start or a end time. So if I want to make this user valid for, you know, the rest of um, oh yeah, we're in 2011, woo. Let's yeah, change this back to this year, all right. So I want to make this user valid till uh, the end of the month. I just say, okay. And then this user will be disabled or not. I mean, it was gonna show as disabled, but it's gonna stay in the database, all right? So on that date and time, this user will not have access to card readers, will not have access to login on keypads, arm and disarm anything. It will be denied access at the first door it will batch to, okay? So that's a very easy way to make a user be valid just to a, up to a certain date. You can have a start time too. Let's say if you give the card to the user, uh, before the beginning of the period, then you won't be able to gain access to the site until the start time kicks in. Okay, so that's one way to manage a beginning and an end for a user. Now, what if you would like the user to disable, to be disabled or even deleted automatically after a, um, let's say, a, a period, okay? So, if you want to make, let's say, the user to be disabled after, you know, five days or, you know, um, uh, you know, let's say, um, or to be deleted after a number of times, this is how we do it here, okay? So, after four days, the user will be automatically deleted, uh, or sorry, in this case, it's disabled, and then if I enable that other option here, then the user will be um, deleted after a number of days. So this means that the user will be removed from the list automatically, okay? Now, a lot of users will ask us, okay, but what if I need to run a report on past events for that user? Um, it doesn't matter. Even when you delete a user, the user is not deleted from the event database. So you're still able to run a report, let's say an all events report on door access, for instance, and find that user uh, in, you know, in the events, even though he was deleted after that date. So again, deleting a user doesn't remove events for that user from the event database. The last thing I want to show you, and this is something I find quite useful, and it was added to the system fairly recently. Um, you know, I can disable the card myself, okay? So just by enabling this, let's say someone lost his card or left his card at home, I wanna make sure that, you know, what if it was lost? So I wanna disable it for a few days while the, you know, the end user or the client comes back to me saying, okay, I have found my card, you can enable it again, okay? Uh, but what I really like here um, is, let's say if you have a, a visitor or maybe, you know, for a, 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 you know, a gym application or something like that, if, if, the, some, if someone doesn't actually show um, activity on site with that card for 30 days, um, basically the card will be automatically disabled um, you know, for you, okay? So if the card was lost, but the, the employee did not report the card as stolen, after, you know, 30 days, then the card is disabled, and if someone tries the card on a reader, it's gonna show an access denied um, user expired or disabled, and then, you know, we can run reports and find out if someone has tried to use this card, okay? So again, this was a short tutorial video on how we can, ma you know, maintain the, a user database, how to make them uh, if they're a temporary user, how to expire them or to disable their cars if they don't use it. Okay. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from it. Again, um, if, my name is Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, send them down below and we always answer quickly. If you like the channel, if you like the videos, please help the, hit the, help, the like button sorry, and the um, subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.